Good morning. We're gathered together in a different way again for chapel. And I look out. I wish I could see all of your faces. I wish I could see on the other side of the computer screen to see your happy faces. And I hope you're enjoying the sunshine. Isn't it beautiful outside? And it's starting to feel like spring, which means that it is time for us to celebrate the most important story that we read all year long. Do you have any guesses of what story we might be getting ready to tell today? It's not all a happy story. In fact, it's a very sad story until the end. And we'll tell that story. But, but first, what do we have to do before we start chapel? What do we have to do to remind ourselves that this is our special time with God? Yep, we light the candle. Right, I get to do it again. And you know what? If you're watching this with a family member, uh, a parent uh, who has a candle and is willing to, to help, maybe they can let you light a candle and you can have a special candle. Because remember, God is not just here at St. James in this church. God is everywhere. God is in your house and in your heart. Um, so if you have a family member who's willing to help, maybe you can press stop really quickly and go and light your own candle. Um, especially as we tell this very important story. Magic. All right. Put that right there. We've got our candle. Now we're going to tell that special story I was telling you about. A sad day and a happy day. All right. What a sad day. Bad men didn't like Jesus. And they put him on a cross. And he died. Very sad. It was so sad that even the skies turned dark. What a sad day. Jesus' friends wrapped him up and they took him to a place called a tomb. The door of the tomb was a big stone. What a sad day. Jesus' friends went home they couldn't be with Jesus anymore. They couldn't talk to Jesus anymore. What a sad day. Some ladies said, we love Jesus too. Let's go and see the place where they put him. So the ladies went walking and talking down the road. They said, who will move the big stone so that we can get in? But when they got there, when they got there, the big stone was rolled away from the door place. One of God's angels had moved it. And the ladies went inside, and they looked this way. Jesus wasn't there. And they looked that way, and Jesus wasn't there. And then, and then, they saw an angel. What do you think the first thing the angel said was? What's the first thing an angel says almost every time? You're right. Do not be afraid, the angel said. Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus. He's not here. He's not dead anymore. Go tell his friends that Jesus is alive. Well, the ladies were afraid, but they were happy. They were happy to run, ladies, run fast, tell Jesus' friends. And away they went. What a happy day. What a happy day. 
away they went, and Jesus met them. Good morning, he said. The ladies stopped, and they looked at Jesus, and they touched him. He was alive. What a happy day. So this is the story that we tell during Holy Week and Easter. On Easter, we tell the ending of the story, the part where they find out that Jesus is alive, that there is absolutely nothing more powerful than God, that God can do amazing things like make Jesus come alive. And you know, all of us have sad days. All of us have days where things aren't going well. But Easter reminds us that God is never done with us in those sad days or in those bad days. That there's always something more. And that Jesus is alive. That Jesus is in our hearts. And that Jesus is alive. And it reminds us that God is good and that God is powerful, and that the day never ends with the sad part. Amen. And now, and now I invite you, and I realize that I forgot a prayer book, so hold on one second while I go and I get a prayer book, and we are going to celebrate. We are going to celebrate birthdays. So if you have a birthday this week, we are celebrating you, and we will continue to celebrate each week the folks who have birthdays. So if it's your birthday, this prayer is for you, and this blessing is for you. So let us pray. Watch over your children, O Lord, as their days increase. Bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them where they stand. Comfort them when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up if they fall. And in their heart, may the peace which passes understanding be with them all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Now let us pray again. We're going to do two prayers. I'm going to do a prayer, and then we're going to say together the Lord's Prayer, and then we'll put out our candle. So the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Most loving God, we give you thanks for this day and for all of the days that you give us, for the sunshine and the signs of spring that remind us that Easter is coming, for the promise that it never ends on a bad day, that God is always doing new things like bringing Jesus to life, like being in all of our lives helping us. Help us to remember that when we have cloudy or dark days, that God is good and that God is in our lives and that God can do anything. And be with those that need special prayers, any we now name. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let us say together those words that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer that we've learned. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And I wish you all a very, very joyful Easter.